just looking back in your, your early career, early stages, who was a guy that you went up against that really kind of introduced you to the league? Like, Gil. Okay. It's Gil. Like, anybody, <laughs> anybody that know my story, it's funny. Um, I was excited about coming over here to talk today because a lot of people don't know, like, the relationship that, like, me and Gil had. Like, Gil will put it on the ground sometimes and talk <laughs> about it, but a lot of people don't know, like, how much he impacted me, right? So, he died. Right, you heard that name before? You didn't yeah, have. It. He don't he, know he done. He, he's West Coast, so this yeah. was. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. listen, I'm sorry. So it was, <laughs> it was. It was a trainer called, or is a trainer called Edan Ravine. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And Edan was amazing. I mean, me early in my career, I'm not probably that player without Edan and the way he pushed me. Yeah. So I got, I declared for the draft, and then I moved to D.C. Started, stayed in Atlanta. Alexandria, Virginia. Mm -hmm. I stayed right over Key Bridge, right, for like a month, getting ready for the draft. I worked out with Edan every day. Tell them about Edan workouts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not a game. Not a game. No, it's, not, it, it they, isn't. They, it they, is. they no joke, them yeah. workouts. And I was working out by myself every day mm -hmm. at, uh, at Christian school, mm -hmm. two hours on the court, by myself, killing me, killing me. And I'd be doing drills, and he'd set up these cones, and like I have to go between the legs cross, between the legs cross. And he'd time me. And every time I did it, it's almost like he'd be like, Psh, all right, Gilbert did it in seven seconds. <laughs> Gilbert did it in seven seconds. You did it in such and such. I'm like, all right, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I was doing that every single day. And then I was going to work out for the Celtics. Mm -hmm. No, no, not the Celtics. I was working out for the Bucks, Milwaukee. Uh -huh. I'll never forget because I worked out for the Bucks because this is when TJ Ford was coming back from his injury. So... Edan told me that Gilbert was going to come work out with me. Okay. Yeah, I was ready to get to this part. Yeah, they said <laughs> Gil was going to come work out with me. And the crazy thing is how my mind thinks now. What month was it? It was sort of his off season. Yeah, it was my off season. Yeah, it was his, it was his <laughs> off season. It was his off season. Now that I know what it's like Let's being a pro and learning when you start gearing yeah. up. But for me, it was Gilbert coming to work out mm -hmm. with me. I've been going hard. And when you remember uh, Edan used to have us doing dribble skip? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we played one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. Right? We played half court. You get mm -hmm. like three dribbles. Mm -hmm. Then we played from the other uh, the other free throw line. And this is so crazy because you remember you used to always have to play an angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So think about that. From the other free throw line, mm -hmm. you get three dribbles. Okay. That's hard. Yeah. Unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, go yeah. to angle, dribble skip, and all this. And I was killing Gil. I don't care what he said, but I was killing Gil this day. That's what I mean. I saw a quote you said, I fried Gil in this oh, workout. Listen, so. that day Do I was. Do you remember this Gil? Gil? I need to know. I was killing. We got to get uh, E. Oh, got So listen, listen, listen. So I get the call and say, yo, I got a top five guard who wants to, uh, he's training, he's been training hard. I want you to go up against him. So I already said, wait, hold on. Like, I've been working, right. but I ain't been, like, working enough to be going against right. any top five guards. Right. Like, right. But so Gil he's like, is known to just always be in the gym, too. Yeah, so I'm, like, I'm, I'm in shape, but I'm not, like, that type of I, shape, yeah, I know, right? I already, I already so I'm, like, um, he was, like, nah, it's just going to be workout, just drills. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, <laughs> all right? Well, my little drills, like, all right, cool. <laughs> then they hit me with, like, all right, one's after. You know... <laughs> Like, once you already did, like, once, because, you know, you try to size somebody up while they, like, working out. Like, yeah. oh, I got this. Yeah. All right, I got it. Right? So, yeah, let's do the ones, right? <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> I've never said, like, if you ever heard me tell this story, I always said I whooped his ass. I was getting drugged. <laughs> okay. I was, I was getting drugged, okay? Like, I'm not even going to lie. I was, I but was. But for me, I'll never forget, I'll uh, never forget it. Because he came and worked out with me. And then just to tell you. Let me tell you two things. After the workout, I go over there and talk to the person from the Bucks, and they basically say that they pick, pick an Andrew Bogut, mm -hmm. right? Because TJ was going to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there like, what the hell you come watch me work out for? You know what I mean? Like, what you, what you do that for? And so now I'm, I'm juiced because all this stuff I've been working on with Edan, I was able to, to beat Gil, right? Mm -hmm. And this stuff. And that's a big deal for yeah, me. For like, sure. Gil for is sure. Gil. Yeah. Nah. Tell you a quick story about how I paid it forward. I'm sitting at, um, what is it called, Roos Chris mm -hmm. in, what is it, Woodland Hills? Yeah. the Roos Chris down there? Yeah. yeah. In Woodland Hills. Yeah, I'm familiar with yeah, you. Yeah, I've so been there a few times. I get a text from Edan, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years ago, this might have been 
five, six years ago. Depends on whatever. Um, Josh Hart. How many years Josh Hart been in the league? Anybody know? Well, this, he just got paid, so this would be going on to his fourth year? Okay. So whenever it was, he was getting ready for the draft. Uh -huh. I hadn't talked to Edan in a while, right? I'm sitting at dinner during the summer, off season, mm -hmm. with my family, and I up, pick up my phone. We celebrating somebody's birthday. Might have been my son, anybody, and I look at it, and it's a long text from Edan mm -hmm. that says, Hey, what up, CP? I'm working out this kid. Almost like the story you just said. Uh -huh. Josh Hart, who's working hard, getting ready for the draft or whatnot. You remember years ago, Gilbert Arena showed up and worked out with you. You know what I mean? We working out at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. at UCLA in the morning. I'd love it if you could show up, right? I'm at dinner. I got a <laughs> glass of wine. I'm chilling. <laughs> and all I can think to myself is how Gilbert showed up for me, no. right? So guess what? I had something to do that next morning. I texted Edan back and said, can we work out at 6? Mm -hmm. At 6 a.m. Wow. I went and worked out with Josh Hart. Just like you did for me. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for did real. Did you bust his ass? Did I ever.